Hi, I'm Arion. This is Book Sell It. And I have a book haul that Prometheus and I did yesterday, Tuesday, day after Memorial Day. We found out about a bookstore. Well, it's not even a bookstore. It's kind of like a second, not even a second hand store. It's a store that takes over inventory or leftover inventory from other stores and mark them down considerably. I found out from two other booktubers, um, I'll put their information down below, and uh, they mentioned Ollie's, and we have an Ollie's, and we just never went in. It's actually fairly new. I think it's been in our town for about a year, maybe, and I found out they had books, so we went in and asked the lady, and she was super friendly, and said, they're over there. So, oh, they were certainly over there. Over there. <laughs> Prometheus said that we bought a small mountain of books. Yeah, well, that's what happens when we're put on lockdown. Those of us that love books need to have access to books. Even if we have books, we like to shop for books. Let me get to the books. This video will be mostly mystery thriller type books, um, which is normally not my genre. However, there were a lot of interesting books and so I had to get them. So this one I actually had on my Goodreads TBR. <laughs> it's so funny. Do you ever think, oh, that book sounds so good. I've never heard of that book. And then you go to t the Goodreads TBR and it's already added to your TBR. <laughs> this happened. So Sutton, and this is by J.R. Moringer. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you pronounce it. Um, this book is about a man who becomes a master thief. And this takes place in New York. And I'm not exactly sure of the time period, but it goes up to 1969. And apparently there is a picture of the men in the back. I'll try and put a close-up card in the video. Anyways, this sounded really good to me. And a lot of booktubers are already familiar with Ruth Ware. They have either read The Woman in Cabin 10 or The Turn of the Key. I have not read either, but this book was also on my Goodreads TBR, The Death of Mrs. Westaway. So this, um, uh, you know, do you all hate it when on the back they don't have the information about the book? I want a summary of the book. If it's a paperback, I want it on the back. I don't care what other people have to say about it, or magazines, or newspapers, or authors. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> I just don't. And yeah, I want the information about the book. Okay, anyway, so I heard about the information, the summary of the book from other booktubers. I'll try and put a quick summary if you care. Otherwise, you know, just, I guess I'll do a review of it when I finish it. It's a mystery, thriller type book. Okay, this one, shout out to Peg, the history show, because, yeah. <laughs> okay, first of all, I had never heard of this author until the history show. So, The Use of Force, or a thriller, Use of Force by Brad Thor, and I looked up the cover. You know, storm rages across the Mediterranean Sea. A terrifying distress call is made to the Italian Coast Guard. Days later, a man's body washes ashore. Identified as a high-value terrorism suspect, etc., 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 CIA, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that sounds really good. Okay, yeah, that sounds really good, and I don't know if this is an Apache, but I thought, is that an Apache, babe? 
That is an Apache. That's an Apache. Yay me. Okay. So anyways, I did a quick blurb like that. And then I started to put it in the card. I went, wait a minute. Isn't that that guy that Peg had mentioned? And I just started laughing in the store. I think it is. So anyways, shout out. Okay. While the city slept. This is by Eli Sanders. Oh, winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Um, this is on a summer night in 2009. Three lives intersected in one American neighborhood. Two people, newly in love, Teresa Boots and Jennifer Hopper, who had spent many years trying to find themselves and who eventually found each other. And a young man on a dangerous psychological descent, Isaiah Kalibu, age 23, the son of a distant authoritarian father and a mother with a family history of mental illness, well, that was going to end real well. Right? All three paths forever altered by a violent crime. All three stories, a wake-up call for the system that failed to see the signs. I don't know if y'all know there's been a lot of craziness in the news lately. I don't even have the news. I just search the news and whoo! People are going off the rocker. <laughs> okay. Don't thought that sounded good. This one was one of the first books that I saw at the store. The Vax, I'm sorry, The Autism War by Louis Conte. Conte? Vaccines are dangerous and he'll risk everything to prove it. I didn't even read the inside. Short explanation why I grabbed this. I used to work with a boy with Asperger's. Up until that point, I had never even heard of Asperger's. Up until that point, I had never even heard of autism. Um, the mother of the boy that I worked with 100% believed that it was the vaccine. I had no opinion one way or the other. My job was to work with the boy to prepare him for whatever was being taught at the time in the classroom and then some. Teach him how to socialize, teach him how to read cues, teach him how to tie his shoes, how to interact on the playground, how to uh, various things. Anyway, so even though I don't work with the young man anymore, and he is a young man by this point in time, because it's been years since I've worked with him, um, this intrigues me. And I like the science, and vaccines are a big conversation right now, so yeah. Okay, Labyrinth by Katherine Coulter. I don't know who this author is. Oh, who this author is. Let's see. On a Tuesday afternoon, Agent Sherlock is driving in downtown Washington when her Volvo is suddenly T-boned at an intersection. As her car spins out of control, a man's body slams against her windshield and then blackness. When she finally regains consciousness in the hospital, she's told about the accident and the man she struck. No one knows where he where he is because he ran from the scene of the crash. From DNA, they discover his name is Justice Cummings. He's a CIA analyst at Langley. And he's still missing. I didn't even continue reading. <laughs> it just sounded really good. So, got that. And that is my thriller. Let me put it this way. My thriller mystery book haul. Thank you very much for joining us. I will have one more, one more book haul from Ollie's. Thank you for joining us. Come back.